today's video I did a cut crease oh my god I've been so bad at cut creases ever since I tried like I've tried so many times to film a cut crease like legitimately like at least over five times and I just haven't put the video up because it just looks like crap but I actually spent so much time to perfect it and I freaking love the way it looks I know my eyes aren't like the best shape to do a cut crease on because I have Slightly hooded lids. Cut creases look amazing on people with more defined like sockets. I think I did a good job considering my eye shape and everything. You should have seen my face slash reaction when I finished this eye because I did one eye off camera just so I could play around and because I had no idea what I was doing, like what colours I was using, what glitter I was using. And after I finished it, I looked at it and I was like, fuck yes. I hope I don't fuck up the second eye. But I did, but I cleaned it up, so hopefully. It does look the same. Probably cousins, first cousins. I'm obsessed with this makeup look, so if you'd like to see how I created it, then keep on watching. Okay, so I thought I would start off with the eye makeup just because I'm using glitter and it can get a bit messy and I'm so glad that I did because it literally went all down my cheek. So yeah, I'm gonna do eyes first. I'm just gonna prime the eyelid with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And then I'm just taking my Tartlet palette and I'm just taking that colour here. You can see. And I'm just setting everything so it's way easier to blend. So first I'm just going to take the Tarte palette again and I'm going to take Force of Nature, that one. And it's just like really, really similar to Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. And I'm just using that as a transition shade. And then I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette and I'm going to take the shade Abigail, if that's how it's pronounced, just this purpley shade. And this is what I'm going to use to cut my crease. I'm just using a, this is like just a winged liner brush. So what you're going to do first is have your eyes open and then just above where your crease is, make the line. Just so when your eyes are open, you're going to be able to see the cut crease. I have like semi hooded eyes, I don't have like completely hooded eyes, but people that have really defined creases, um, cut creases just look amazing on them. So I'm very jealous of you right now. So I'm just like mapping out the crease. So once I've mapped out the cut crease, I'm going to go in with this Zoeva Luxe Pencil Brush. I'm just grabbing a bit more of the Abigail. And I'm just like using that to blend it up. You don't have to be like super neat and tidy. Like it doesn't really matter if colour falls out in the bottom because we're going to clean it up with the paint pot. And then I'm going to grab Punch Fuchsia, which is this colour. And just on the same pencil brush. And I'm just going to use that as well and kind of like go above that cut crease that we just made. I'm just going to grab this BD Delium Tool 776 brush. If you saw my Snapchat, you would have seen that I mentioned these. They're like so good and they're so cheap. I'm just going to use Dusty Rose, which is this one. I'm just going to use that to like blend those two colours together. Okay, I'm just going to go in with a little bit more of the punch colour. So I really want that purple to be like kind of vibrant. And then just blending. So now that that bit's done, we're going to go in again with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot. But if you don't have this, any concealer will do. Or a white eyeliner, doesn't matter. So I'm just going to take that just on this really small concealer brush. 
and this is where I'm going to carve out the cut crease. So I'm going to pull my eye like this and just carving that shit out. And then for this bit, you're going to make a nice curve, like that. And then just fill in this area because there will be glitter going here as well. So I'm just going to go in with that white shade and I'm just going to try and set that area. Okay, so for glitter on the lid, I'm going to go in with my glitter injections. If you have me on Instagram, you probably already know that I have them, but I haven't used them even though I've had them for about three months. Whoops. So I'm going to go in with this gold color down here. I'm going to use that on the same concealer brush and I'm just going to like press that on the lid. I'm just going to grab Abergene again, which is this dark purple color just on the same winged liner brush and I'm just going to go in and define the cut crease just a little bit more and then I'm just going to grab the black from the palette which is here and it's called coal I don't think it's quite black I think it's more like a charcoal -y color and I'm just going to use that to define the cut crease even more then just using that blending brush and just blending everything so it looks seamless. So for liner, I'm going to use the Tarte Clay Paint Liner. I'm just going to use that on a B Delium Tools 762 brush. This brush is also really good. Essence Mascara. Ow, why does that always happen to me? Does anyone else poke themselves daily with freaking mascara? I always do it. You think because I do it so often, I wouldn't. I pretty much do it every day and then my eye just waters. <sighs> so annoying. Okay, and the lashes that I'm using is another secret. So I can't tell you right now. Okay, I'm popping them on. Why does glitter have to do that? Seriously. Oh my god, help. Help, 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 help. S O fucking S. I think I just need to put foundation on before I freak the fuck out. Okay, so I'm gonna use my new MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. Oh my god, look how amazing it is. I'm going to use that on my favourite brush. Whoops. And I'm just going to spray a bit of this NYX Dewy Setting Spray on it so it's intense. Because I feel like this look needs like an intense highlighter. Yes. Slay my fucking life. That is amazing. That is probably way too much highlighter, but you can never have way too much highlighter. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish my eye. So, I'm just going to use the Maybelline Eye Studio in the lower lash line. And I'm just going to apply that in my waterline. I was going to put white in, but I always look like a drag queen. I don't know if that's just me, but I just look so super weird because I think my eyes are already big. So that just makes them look bigger and it just like, I don't know, I look a bit retarded. Then I'm going to grab Abergene out of the Artist palette, this color. And I'm just going to use that to smoke out the bottom lash line. I might actually bring it kind of near the wing. I find that I do way better in makeup tutorials when I don't know like what I'm gonna do. 
So I just wing it and it always turns out to be amazing. Oh shit. So I'm going to grab a bit of that punch fuchsia colour, which is there. And also use that to blend. So for lips, I'm going to use the Gerard Cosmetics Shirt Lip Liner. Then I'm going to grab Strict Liquid Lipstick. I love that. Okay, I'm just taking Whimsical by Makeup Geek. And whoa, okay. That is some bright highlight. So this is the final look. I'm so happy about how it turned out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.